Give it some Donna. There she goes. The demon. Let's crack on. Oh, there he is. Oh, thank you. Thank you, is this my pocket money? Well, this is a rarity, isn't it? <laughs> Where there's actually a uh, screen come on. Yeah. Is it recording? Is, is it recording? Right. We're on, camera's on. It's warm, isn't it? Right, so welcome back folks, welcome back to the channel. We're out today, it's supposed to be raining, or well cloudy, or thunderstorms, but the sun's shining. And what better way to spend your afternoon out on the bikes. Out today with Donna. Donna's cameraed up, but she's not audioed up. So give us a wave, Donna. Whee! Got the bike back from KTM. The NC750 has gone back. Right, so we've just gone through Selby. I'm just gonna go to Tesco's and fuel up. Me and Donna, we're just out for a out for a little ride. Got the eldest lad babysitting. Yeah, so Donna, she ain't got a microphone yet, so unfortunately you can't hear what she's saying. She's usually swearing at me and cursing. Yeah, let's, uh, let's talk about my diet. What are you laughing at? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I got on weighing scales last week, and I weighed 21 stone. 21 stone. So I've been on Slimming World and I've lost half a stone this week. So things are a little bit. I know it's only half a stone, but I can feel it. I can fit into my trousers a bit better. <laughs> I think I've earned it, I've been working really hard this week, driving bin wagon. We only work Tuesday to Friday now, so a four day a week. It's absolutely fantastic. More time at home, more time with kids, the family, more time on bike. Right, so, as we're coming out of lockdown, there seems to be a lot more things what are reopening. People can start going to a few more places. Not too sure about on the campsites. Donna wants to do a bit of camping this year. So I've been jumping on groups, seeing what people are up to. 
came across you up. It is, isn't it? it? Smells like pig shit as well. Yeah, so we've been jumping up groups, seeing what's available. Seen a guy come up. Tins on tour. Yeah, so hopefully we've got a few things planned this year. I've got my uh, charity bike ride coming up. Mam's ride, it's called. Put all the details below if you want to have a browse. And then definitely in August, all being well, Scotland opens its borders. We've got a bit of a meet up with the Yorkshire lads on tour. Which there seem to be a a good bunch of lads. It'll be the first time I've met them. And that's taking place in Moffat. Meet, I can't remember the hotel's name. But we're meeting up there, making his own way there. And then going for a ride out the following day. So a big shout out to them. They're a welcoming group. Put some good vids up as well. So we stumbled across, well I stumbled across this. A YouTuber, Tins on Tour. Seems to be a decent bloke. Plenty of laughs. He's a Saints fan, I think. Well, he's from St. Helens, so I'm assuming he's a Saints fan. Might clash a little bit there, because we're cast fans. <laughs> rugby's rugby. Rugby's rugby, bikes are bikes. It's good to have a few things in common. Well, we've all got everything in common with bikes, haven't we, so? Yeah, Donna's just reminding us that we need to get back for a certain time so we can bring us Chinese order in, because they are taking a bit longer to deliver. I think last time we ordered from there, it was nearly, what were it, two hours. So we ordered it, <laughs> we ordered it about half past seven, it didn't come till about quarter to ten. Yeah, so we came across these few vids on uh, YouTube, Tins on Tour vids. And we were watching the most recent ones. Where Faye were doing a 125. CBT and what have you and it just my wife were laughing because it just reminded her when she when she did her CBT seems ages ago that now doesn't it so when Donna did her CBT two years ago now we got her a 125 and she said I'll, I'll be happy at this for a year riding this within a week she got fed up she got fed up because it didn't go fast enough so with that she went home got on the phone to the local trainer and got booked on for a direct access and a couple of months later Pass the test. Look at that countryside. Duck duck ponds just round here at right hand side. Yeah, right. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> they were laughing, they've got the same idea. Yeah, I might turn round. I don't 
don't know, I can't remember if there's any laybys or out up here. Yeah, we're not far from Squire's Cafe. It's just dark road. Just through Sherburn, drop down hill as if you're going to go to all day one. Towards Garforth. Watch this, this uh, loose stone there, you see it? You go straight. Uh, a bit of clutch control here, Donna. stopping it's clear totally clear it's all right don't panic there's a couple of cars oh you do it you want to you out you out well you said you'd comped and then i looked and you, you were at junction and Then I said, don't panic, and as I turned and looked in my mirror, he'd pulled out. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. I used to, you know what? I used to stall, when I had the Tiger, I used to stall that all the time. I couldn't, I couldn't get on with clutch control on it. Yeah. Now I'm talking to you. Yeah. Feel shit in what respect? Yeah, but you don't. You're not a bad rider, though. What? What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah, so obviously you can't hear what Donna's saying, but like when we were, when we come to that junction, then we were turning right. It were on a hill, and she stalled, and she's just saying that she's, you know, she's still learning, and which we are, we all are, you know. Best of them can pull out a junction, stop at a junction. Yeah, so having your clutch control at a junction on a hill. It's not the easiest position to be in, is it? So, it's just about positioning your bike, so you can see. I'm just taking your time. Are you going for it? Give it some. Give it some, Donna. There she goes. The demon. I love your bike, you've got presence. God, can you imagine when they open that place back up? What, the one I've ordered for you? <laughs> Donna's just saying she can't wait until she gets a new exhaust. 600 and odd quid. She said if I skip a birthday and she don't buy me out, she can buy herself an exhaust. Then Christmas. Well, we'll skip Christmas and birthdays and anniversaries. Go on, wind it on. I'm 
Olivia, I can see you looking in your mirror. Alright, so we were in Monk Fryston. Yeah, the thatched roof there in front. You see that, guys? Just gone past Monk Fryston all on the left hand side. Oh, down there? Could do. Yeah. Oh, we could pull into a uh, little, little bridge at Brayton into that car park. Turn it round. 